So in this video, I'll be showing you on how you can access your FNB transaction history in a quicker way. So I created a video earlier on, you should check that out. But this is a faster way in which you can access that financial statement. So if that sounds interesting, without wasting much of your time, let's hop straight into the video. And don't forget to subscribe. So I'm going to launch my FNB mobile application. So in the previous video, you had to go to your home tab. And then you have to find the transaction statement. And then if you don't find it, you add it through the plus sign. But in a case where you can't even find your statement, even after clicking on the plus sign, this second method I'm going to show you is even quicker and faster. This method does not require you to add it to your home tab. So first things first, after you successfully log into your FNB mobile application, where you want to click is on bank. And then it's going to bring you this display. In my case, I've got two accounts under one major account which is my COPA savings account and my savings pocket. So you simply select the account in which you want to check your statement history or transaction history. So if you've got multiple accounts, you just identify the account and then you click on it. So for illustration of purposes, the procedure is still the same. I'll click on the first account, which is the Quacha COPA savings account. And then you're going to be brought to this display. So on top, as you can see, it's saying accounts. And then at the bottom of accounts, there's transaction history. And then the second option says account options. So where you want to click now is where it says account options. So I'll click on account options. And then you're going to be brought to this display. So as you can see, the account options that we have are for the Quacha Copa savings account because it's the one that we clicked. So what you want to find now is statement history because that's what we want to access. We want a documented statement showing us how money moved in and out of our FNB bank account. So once you successfully find statement history, which is usually by default after account settings, you click on it. So it's going to bring you to this display saying statement history on top. Please select the PDF document you want to download. So you can simply identify which statement history you want to access. So as you can see, I've got about four statement histories that I can access or download. So you just identify the statement history you want to access information from and download it. So for an example, I'll download the first one. and then it will pop up upon successfully downloading. So this should be how your financial statement or your statement history should appear upon successfully downloading. As you can see, on top there, there's the FNB logo, meaning it's authentic and verified by FNB Bank. So upon successfully downloading, you just click on the bottom arrow there and you can download it to your device. You can then access it and share the information to whoever requested for it. Or if it's for your own personal use, you can simply put it to use. But I'll go back and just mention something that's important. So in a case where none of the financial statements you want to access is appearing, where you want to go now is at the bottom where it's saying not, you'll be charged for statements that are not indicated as free. So for the above statements, those are free. But at the bottom, if you want to specify a range or a date, you're going to be charged a small amount in order for you to view and download your statement history. So you just click on where it's saying search order statements. So you can access your financial statements that are not older than three months that are falling within the range of three months. So for start date, I can put January. So you just have to specify. So January, what date exactly? So you can put 17 just as an example. And then the end date, you can also put 2025, March the 3rd. So that's a range in which I want to access my statement history or my transaction history. So if you're okay with that, you just simply click on continue and you're going to be able to access your statement history at a very minimal fee. So I won't go ahead and access the financial statement because this is just for illustration of purposes. So this is one of the ways in which you can access your FNB bank statement history or financial statement history in a faster, quicker and straightforward way. So if you've learned one or two things on how you can access your statement history using your mobile phone, I'd be really glad if you gave this video a thumbs up subscribe for more tech and money related videos because this is what this channel is all about thank you for sticking out this far stay safe and i'll check you out in the next video peace